So we'll get right to repairing or changing this bulb. I'm Uncle Mark and I'll take you through the step as I do it on our friend's uh, 2011 terrain. I'm going to show the high beam. Actually, you're going to get to see a little bit of the low beam as well, but in the driver's or passenger side fender, there's this little door. Round door and it's got a torque bit that holds it in, a little screw. So you need a T20, at least that should work. Using a T20 screwdriver, I'll try and maybe put a link to a set of these in the description below. And you just, it's basically locking this round door in place. So once you get it out of here, you should be able to access the bulb. Now you see this is a special kind of a screw. They use these a lot on these newer vehicles. So you just turn it counterclockwise on this one and it should just pop out. It's an access door to where the bulbs are. So I'll bring you in a little closer, see how, what it looks like. See this round door? This is actually the low beam. I'll show you how this works because the high beam, you can't really get in. It says this little finger here, just remember the orientation. Turn it counterclockwise, and it's a little locking door that basically looks like this. Seals all the moisture in that, so I put it back on, so there's one beside it, see there. That's going to be harder to get up. That's the high beam. It works the same though, just counterclockwise, if you can stick your hand in there. You're going to have to do this one all by feel, you can't really see what's going on. Turn it counterclockwise. It's got the same little finger, same kind of orientation, and then the bulb is in there. I'll see if I can just, you can just see it there. This one is hard to get out and hard to put in. It's just like a quarter turn, not even a quarter turn, an eighth of a turn, counterclockwise, and it should come out. There's a couple of, there's a connector on it though with some wires. I'll we'll have to take that off as well. But if you can turn it, It'll be tougher to put in than to take out. Maybe try and take note of uh, where the connector points, the wires, if it's six o'clock or five o'clock. You should be able to just take your thumb and click that out like that and the bulb should come out that easy. So it just turns like that, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. And looks like it is an HB3. Don't want to touch the new one. So probably a more common number would be a 9005. Depends on the brand. Some call it an HB3, some call it a 9005. And then to put it back in, way in there again. That's where it helps when you put the new one in to know the orientation. And this was hard to do compared to the low beam. It's a different kind of uh, assembly. Maybe I should show you the bulb again here just for a minute. So you see the socket that it's in. It's got those three fingers. Two of them are the same size, one of them isn't. So it only goes in one way. I'll give you a close up. So see this one is bigger. This top one is smaller and the bottom one is bigger. So it's only gonna go in one way Actually, give me a thumbs up if you can. That'll sure help YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. Plus, hopefully I'm helping you out. See the configuration there. Let's try and put it back in. This took me a while. And like I say, it was totally by feel. You can't see what you are doing. Once you kind of get the bulb in the hole there, and it's a good idea not to touch the glass bulb. Because oils from your fingers can get on there and then that bulb gets hot. So if you've got an uh, oily film on there, it can burn it out. Once you've got it in and you put the connector back on, which I can't show you either, but you have an idea of how it came off. This goes back on. That little finger is probably at about the five o'clock position. Give it a twist clockwise. So then it's at the, roughly about the seven o'clock position. And that should do it. Put this back on. It only turns on one way. Then put your little screw back in there which will lock it in place and I am done it's that easy instead of spending a whole bunch of money getting a dealer or some other shop to do it 
So that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, yeah, the high beam is a little tougher to switch than the low beam, but I'm sure you can do it. Just take some patience. You'll finally get that ball back in there. If you haven't already, uh, boop that thumbs up, like button for me if you can. Uh, it helps YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Uh, also, if you have a train right above here, above the blue circle, there is a playlist on this vehicle, which can help you out because who knows what else I fixed that's in that playlist. And if you haven't, please subscribe down in the corner as well and hit that uh, what notification thing. Make sure you get them all, uh, the notifications, so that you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch, but you'll get a chance to uh, make that choice for yourself. Till next time, I'm Uncle Mark saying you and your family stay safe. Bye-bye for now. Please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. There's some neat stuff there. Until next time, I'm a mama mumble. <laughs>